morning, it's Friday morning, 8 o'clock, we just pulled up at this job. This is going to be an interesting one, because it's um, the last steels job we did on, on this channel. It was putting a steel in, same house, just around the corner, do a lot of work on this estate. But this one, it's already had the wall taken out and the steel in, but they want to make it 450 bigger. So basically, prop everything up, take the 450 out, put a longer steel in. And I'm not sure there's pad stones or not, so I'll pick pad stones up. So we've just got here now, we've just got to get all our gear out. Make room in the back of the van for the steel and go and pick the steel up because it's going to stick out the back of the van. So once we get inside and get it organised, I might take you with us to get the steel. Uh, we'll see how we go anyway. So I'll see you in a bit. Here we go. Two planks for the floor, two planks for the ceiling, seven acros. So just want to make them out. I'm going to start bringing them in, make room for the steel because we've got to go and pick the steel up. And wait till you see this house, how the customers have left it for us. Perfect. So we can just get in here and get stuck in. Shame every customer doesn't do that for you. <laughs> So, got all our gear in, bags of rubbish, tools, ladders, platform, we've got two of them but forgot the other one, we always forget something. Six acros, sorry, three acros for this side, one for the steel, three acros for that side, plank for the floor, plank for the ceiling, same this side. <coughs> and brew. Radio. Right, now the van's empty, we're going to head off and get the steel. Uh, we'll, just, um, we'll just get these three acros on this side set up first before we go. Right, we're all propped. That side's done. 
it's a timber floor so we've got the base plate down to spread the weight. Now what we've got to do now is go and pick our steel up, bring the steel in, put it in place and then get the next acros in otherwise we won't get the steel in after. Then once we're all propped up we can get this thing out which shouldn't be much, it's just propped up, it's just dry bedded I think on a bit of slate and then I think we're taking 450 off this. 450 off it and then we'll take out for the pad stones at each end obviously they've got the pad stones in and then uh, get the steel in so I'll head off to James steel now and pick the, pick the steel up there we go James steel we always come for our steels. There it is. 3.1. I think the only thing we need 3.1, but <clears throat> there it is. Let's get back. There we go, all propped up for brew time, there's our steel. Now what happened yesterday is I was rained off yesterday so I came to re-measure just to double check my measurements, there's nobody in. So I added 70mm onto the steel so it's a bit long. So we're just going to go let it sail past the pad stone on that side. Obviously we can't do it that side because it'll go into the gap. Instead of dragging it out and cutting it, we'll just leave this bit of extra steel in. So let's go and get a brew, and then we can get making a mess after brew. There we are, plaster's all up. What a mess that made. So it's just a load of slate gobbed up. And we haven't took much out of there. That's all just, again, bit of slate, bit of gobble. It's just swinging there, really. 
I was worried about the joist running the wrong way, but we're okay. It's our joist, so we're okay there. So these two coats of brick are coming out. Steel's going right up to the to the timber. So the they're going to gain about four inches on the on the height of the room by the time the steel's up there. It comes about there, I should think. So that's gone. Should be good. So they're gaining. Two, 18 inches on the width and a good 4 inches on the height and probably a bit more peace of mind having a steel in than that thing um, yeah that's it so far we'll keep at it get this thing out and get tidied up a bit have some dinner It's not heavier than the planks, is it? Eh? It's not heavier than the planks. It's not heavier than the planks. Just in. Put that flat, it's going to sit flat. Put a bubble in. Just don't make that in the way. Now you may notice on the time lapse we took the lintel out and we just brought it back in again because we've got to get all those bricks out. If we don't have that there just to stop them dropping, they're just going to crush down. We don't know what damage it's going to cause, so it's not like just whipped it back in again. We can start knocking the brick out above now. lintel up there at the moment just to stop the loose bricks falling on our heads that's just a temporary measure so we're going to build that up put the pad stone in this side's a bit more complicated because from here it was just a straight joint as you can see that that's been added on after so it was just straight joint all the way down 
So what I've done is I've took all the halves out so we can bond this in, make a nice straight, nice strong corner, and then we can put the pad stone at the top, drop our steel in. So just getting um, getting sorted out and get this bricked up. Stand on that. Stand on that. Yeah. Yeah. Get 
Yeah, we're fine. Now, once I start tightening this, it's swinging in the wind, okay? Yeah, keep it, just keep it in so it goes in the gap. I've got to guide it in. Yeah. It wants, I think you're actually what's going on it a bit more. What do you mean? It's, oh, never mind. It's central, I mean. <coughs> Take my gun. Due to be returned. Maybe for the time to show. No point no point coming on there at the internet. That's true. I don't know why I'm checking this because nothing is about it. It is what it is. It's that long. Is it? Oh good. Yeah. Let me straighten itself up but oh good. Let's right. just look wonky because of the plaster in the bricks. Yeah. Alright, take your acro down, mate. Which one? Yeah, one. Steel's taking away now. Oh, 
won't take him out yet. Pardon? We won't take him out yet. We'll just... Oh yeah, don't want to miss out. Yeah. Yeah. Same with these. Monkey. What? Is that not straight down with one? You can't tell. You should get that ball back. One sec. Point your head. Oh, mate. We're just tripping around, isn't that one?
What time is it, mate? About four o'clock? Probably, yeah. As you can see, it's going dark. Probably can't tell on the GoPro. We're all done. Uh, I'll take you inside and show you. There's what we took out. That's just two coats of brick over the lintel and two brick wide pillar. The muck it makes is unbelievable. And it was just a box section lintel in there. Pretty poorly installed. Shut the gate, please, mate. Mm -hmm. There we have it. Sealed up. And then that's with the two course, two pillar gone, two brick pillar gone. But um, like I said in the video, it's brick on brick here, so that's all been rebuilt and toothed in. Give it some strength. And then built up right round the top there. Good 200 seat in either end. Coming near a 220. There we go, all done. All done while it's raining outside. Which always feels good. Doesn't it? Absolutely. Thank you.